Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be installing an update to Drupal. Now, this isn't the easiest process in the world. Drupal still has not necessarily solved the easy updating process. It's not one click. So follow along as we show you how to install the next version of Drupal on top of your previous version. Okay, so in the last video, we installed a new theme. Yeah, I'm not totally committed to that particular theme, so I'm actually going to set Bootstrap itself as the default and sort of see what's going on here. After that, I'm going to head to the home of our website, give this a refresh, and as you can see, it's not bad. It's certainly nice. Let's actually refresh the incognito non-logged in version, and as you can see, it's very, very bare bones, but it looks pretty nice. And if you were doing a starter theme and you wanted to modify this or something like this, it would be a good starting point. Okay, so either way, we have this bootstrap theme. Let's head to extend. From here, let's go to update. Now what you can see here is that we do have a new version of Drupal. It says we have checked 49 seconds ago for module updates. Uh, however, manual updates are required. What you're not able to do is you're not able to update Drupal core through this interface. Updates to Drupal core are not supported at this time. So what we can't do is can't click a button and have just the new version of Drupal installed. That's a total bummer. That's something that I really wish existed in Drupal. And you'll see we have the installed version, but the recommended version is at 8.03. Now we want to make sure we stay on these recommended versions. So what do we do? Well, we can actually open this Drupal core link in a new tab. It's going to take us to the Drupal project page where we can then click on this 8.03 recommended release here. And again, we have the option of downloading it. Now, you can see uh, under update, yeah, we can't just paste in a URL somewhere, so we have to physically download this tar.gz. Now, the thing about this is, is that when we have this tar.gz, we're going to have to open this up, but this contains all of the files that our whole Drupal site has already. I mean, this is a total fresh copy of Drupal here. So what we don't want to do is just drop this into our project. So what's the strategy here? Well, first, I recommend before doing any major updates that you take date that you take a backup of everything. Back up your files, back up your database, take backups. Uh, that way, in case something goes wrong, you're not stuck, right? You're not stuck with a site that doesn't work and you can't go back. So always take backups. That's a big thing. So here I have my Drupal folder inside of my htdocs since I'm using MAMP in this example. Basically, you're going to browse to wherever your Drupal site is. Now, if you're on a now, if you're on an actual host, this is going to be a harder process. You're probably going to have to do this through FTP instead of dragging and dropping through your uh, finder or something like that. Okay, so we have our tar.gz. Let's open this up, unzip it, and we're going to have a Drupal folder. Now, let's open this Drupal folder up. Now, I can see these uh, hidden files, you might not be able to see these. That's all right, because these are unlikely to change. So I wouldn't worry too much about these. And so now I'm going to select everything that's not a hidden file here. And I'm going to unselect uh, by holding Command and just pick the modules, sites, and themes. So we want everything that's not module, sites, and themes. Drag, drop, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace whatever. I'm going to click Replace. Okay, so we now have the new Drupal 8.03 installed. We have our modules still, we have our themes still, we have everything in here. But what we need to do is we need to come to localhost and then slash update.php. This is going to run a database update. Let's go ahead and click continue. You can see we have one pending update which is a pending update to the image module itself, which is part of core. We can apply the pending update, and this is going to update our database so that everything is working correctly. Sometimes you might see errors after updating, and this usually takes care of that. Okay, so let's head back to the administrative pages, and let's do something really quickly. Let's head to 
configuration. And let's scroll all the way down to performance. So let's click on performance. And let's just take this opportunity to clear all caches. Now, somebody once made a thing that was something like the Ten Commandments of Drupal, and the number one is always clear the cache. Seriously, uh, if you are having some issues or some errors or some weirdness, things not showing up in the right space, come here, clear all cache, and you might see a nice little improvement. Okay, so we've now cleared the cache. We've updated to the latest version. If we head to extend, we head to update and you can see all of your projects are up to date. If we check manually, it's going to check really quick. And again, it's checked all six of our projects, which include the themes and the modules and everything is up to date. This is a nice little system. It's not as nice as some other content management systems, like I said, but it is a huge improvement for Drupal. So we've now updated the core version of Drupal and we're ready to go once again. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And that concludes the Drupal Basics tutorial series. Now there's gonna be a lot more Drupal 8 videos on the way. If this isn't enough configuration and customization for you, I'm going to be doing a customizing Drupal series very soon. We're gonna have a lot more beginner to intermediate Drupal content. So keep watching, level up tutorials, a lot more Drupal videos coming very soon. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna help support the creation of these free tutorials by purchasing this series or sign up to be a level up pro, head to store.leveluptutorials.com. Um, I would love it if you could help out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.